We begin in Nairobi where suspended Deputy Chief Justice Nancy Baraza has appealed the decision by the tribunal which recommended her removal from the judiciary early this week. The notice of appeal states that Baraza was dissatisfied with the decision findings and recommendations of the tribunal constituted to investigate her conduct. The Constitution allows Baraza to lodge an appeal at the Supreme Court within 10 days of the tribunal's hearing. Baraza was accused of contacting Rebecca Kerubo and her fellow guard, Anthony Makanu, a week before the tribunal was scheduled to start its hearing, where she allegedly asked them to alter their evidence. Still, from the corridors of justice, Environment Minister Chirau Ali Mwakwere will face hate speech charges next week on Wednesday. The minister was expected in court Thursday morning but failed to appear, saying he had not been served with summons. Through lawyer Lilian Obuo, the director of public prosecutions, informed the court that the Matuga legislator had proved elusive. Mokwere failed to block the criminal charges on Wednesday in an application he had filed before the High Court. In Kisumu, the High Court has dismissed an application by a clan seeking to be enjoined in a land case involving High Court Judge Mary Angawa against her kin. The Ndolo clan had, on July 26, 2012, filed a notice of motion requesting to be included as the second defendant in the case in which High Court Judge Mary Angawa and her brother Charles Angawa have blocked the burial of their uncle Willis Otieno Oyuga on a parcel of land in Siaya County. In Nairobi, activist Tony Geshoka has taken a stab at the ICC process, claiming that it ignored the fact that there existed two human rights reports on the post-election violence. Gashoka claims that one of the reports had Prime Minister Raila Odinga's name deleted from it, thus rendering the report of the Waki Commission of Inquiry flawed. Gashoka wrote to the ICC prosecutor, making known his intention to adduce evidence on behalf of thousands of post-election victims. However, he may not get a hearing as he has been denied a visa to the Netherlands. This as residents of Ewasoniro barricaded the Narok Masai Mara Road for about seven hours, decrying increased incidents of human wildlife conflict. A 37-year-old woman was reportedly killed 200 meters from her home by an elephant. The residents argue that repeated calls to have the Kenyan Wildlife Service reviewed have not yielded results. Salim Bilu, Citizen Live at 9.